Greetings once again, hair-raising adventurers out there. Dudes is Din back again with another episode of Rapunzel's Tangled Adventures, where previously, Rapunzel has finally done it. She stepped beyond the walls of Corona, beyond where her tower is, beyond the castle, beyond anything Corona related. Unfortunately, this is still a mission to find out where the Black Rocks are taking her. And by her side, Eugene, of course, Cassandra, Lance, Shorty, and Hookfoot. Why those last few? Well, Hookfoot was made for the series to replace Hook Hand, and Shorty is the comedy relief. It, it makes enough sense. <sighs> would have liked Attila to come though. They end, up, uh, they end up in the lawless town of Vardros, a town run by the Baron, and as soon as they enter, word gets back to the Baron through Weasel of all people, that Flynn Rider has returned. While Rapunzel and Cassandra encounter a mysterious woman named Adira, who has a sword made from one of the Black Rocks, hinting that she knows something about what Rapunzel's journey entails, Eugene is abducted by the Baron's men, and Lance is subsequently poisoned, this all in an effort to coax Eugene into marrying the Baron's daughter, Stallion. Yes, that stout was not a horse, but a woman. But I'd like to ride her if you- Nope, nope, nope. I shouldn't go there. <laughs> Flynn Rider. Flynn Rider Stallion. Mm, Stallion Rider. Mm, that, that's a lot of innuendos. I need to stop. The marriage is announced, and Rapunzel falls into a bit of a depression. Especially since previously, she walked in on Eugene practicing proposing to her, and Rapunzel was stuck on what she'd actually want to say. But with this new situation, she understands that she loves Eugene no matter what, and does want to marry him. So they crash that wedding, of course, with Adira in tow helping them out. Out. They manage to best Stallion as well as get Baron poisoned by his own spider while getting the antidote for Lance. Unfortunately, while Rapunzel is now ready to marry Eugene, I was about to call him Flynn, Eugene has been coaxed into understanding that Rapunzel's taste of freedom shouldn't be nailed down by a marriage. So, there's that. It has also been discovered that the Black Rocks don't react to Rapunzel's like they used to, because they found where the sun drop was. Now their only purpose is to lead, and so our crew heads out with Adira following in the shadow. Unbeknownst to our hero, her having a bond with Kirin, Varian's father, as well as a place known as the Dark Kingdom. Mysteries abound, but are we on the road to add answers or ruin? Join me as I find out, won't you? Oh, I thought we left this place. Oh, they're still supplying up. Hmm, I honestly thought we had left. How much time did you end up spending here, man? Oh, that <laughs> sounds like New York. Aww. Rude. <laughs> City will turn itself into destruction. Oh, really? <laughs> Weasel's taking control? Well, yeah. Weasel saw his opportunity and he took it. Expansion. Oh, he's gonna tax him. Really? Oh, she's already involved. Yep. <laughs> hey, how many times does she have to kick you guys' butt? Jeez. Yeah. Always good to know you got her back, Cass. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, the typical thing, it's just like, hey, you wanna play protector? Hey, that's all good. Can't stay here forever. And if anything, you made it worse for the people. <sighs> It's one of those things where you gotta teach the people how to stand up. Oh boy. Yeah, that is the thing. You can't stay here forever. Be one thing if you were, but Lardaros needs its own hero. Wow, Cassandra said Eugene is right. That's how you know it's serious. Dude! Why would you eat that after he just bit into it? Inspirational speech. Why are the subtitles all over the place? Okay, I think I got it. Door to door. Uh, and nobody took. Yep, that's about right. Handing out fish. Okay. Oh, Vex, we keep coming back to you. Are you gonna join us on your journey, or are you just reoccurring? <laughs> She's just laying it out how it is. I actually kinda like her. Someone they look up to. Uh, that statue has a whole bunch of... Ugh, Captain Quake. <laughs> First guy to arrest you. Why are you so fondly remembering that? Oh god, you got arrested here a lot. Huh. Captain Quaid, Quaid the Blade. Oh man, a lot more capable for an old guy than I would have thought. So what happened to him? He quit. Who was his match? The Baron? Well, of course, anything for the coin. He's probably at a bar. Four days. I'm surprised you're not trying to do it in one day. Yeah, she is undeterrable. Oh, so he's out of the town, out of the town. Oh, this is his place. Huh. Oh, I'm <laughs> just gonna keep knocking. Oh, three minutes. Huh. 
Oh, he's voiced by Reg E. Caffey. Oh, this must have been before he died. Honestly, kind of looks like him, too. That's wild. Nope, oh, he's tall, too. <laughs> oh, he kind of hinting something with Vex. <laughs> honey. <laughs> you retired just to make honey? Oh, God. Hmm. Uh, what made him quit, though? That wasn't an answer. <laughs> it means Weasel's expanding his territory, and I'm pretty sure you're in range of what he wants. Oh, boy. <laughs> And I'm still wondering what made him quit. Just got jaded? Ooh, dang. Oh god. <laughs> okay, how long has it been? <laughs> He's just gonna move? Yeah, the people are the reason he gave up. Why? The collector. Whoa, big guy. Oh, okay, so it was the Baron who helped push him out. Who was the collector, though? Okay. Oh, so you took down the collector and tried to inspire the people, but they didn't have his back. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, and it's like they said, you can't help people who aren't willing to help themselves. That's so wild though, I mean, he beat the bad guy, he just needed the people to have his back to, you know, show that they weren't afraid. I wonder why he wasn't able to inspire that camaraderie. <laughs> Man, it's gonna take a lot more speeches for this one. You, yeah. of course. It really is a good thing Rapunzel is royalty. Oh my god. What is the plan here? Oh, is it the collector? <laughs> you knock. Oh, snap. So the dude was just living in Varderos? Mortimer Terrell. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> I hate this. Really? Really? Oh boy. Okay, when does the collector show up? Ham, thy name is Lance. Oh, okay. Like riding a bike. Oh. <laughs> really? Really? <sighs> Gotta love the simple people. Emphasis on simple. Really? Oh, nice. Huh. Like riding a bike. Aw, there you go. Nice. Dang, the moves. <laughs> Keep the streets a little bit cleaner. Oh, it is infectious. Really? Stole her taters. Huh, I guess he's more of a natural talent. <laughs> kitty. Not the kitty! <laughs> really? Man, that could have been messy. Where did all this food come from? No. He's gonna make her his deputy? Really? Aww. This is actually really sweet. <laughs> oh man, Max can't catch a break. Really? Oh, not the food! I mean, it started out differently. I mean, the first one. <sighs> oh, it wasn't all a lie, man. <sighs> really? High noon? Straight up? I mean, uh, Max, you have literally a whole entire cart full of weaponry. And you brought nothing. I, I am questioning your choices in a different way on it to be honest. I did not expect a character art for Vex, if I'm being honest. Not that I hate it. I do love his voice. Uh, how much did he pay? Dude. Jesus, he's so big! And the Baron was already big. Uh, he, he's big. He's bad. <laughs> oh! Weaponized gauntlets. Nice. Wow, that was quick. Ooh. <laughs> really? Who designed this armor? Dang. Why did that kind of sound like Keith David? Uh, oh, let me guess. It's B pheromones. Oh god. I hope that armor does not have too many openings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. There you go. She's Rapunzel. <laughs> nice. Alright. Eh, as close to smalls as you're gonna get. Okay. I'm still very surprised we came back to the city. Huh. Yeah, I could have sworn I heard a little bit of Keith David at some point, which kind of threw me. Okay, he was in this. Oh, Steve Bloom too. Maybe he did like additional lines or something, cause Keith David has such a distinct voice. It's very different from Reggie, so it must have been very close to when he passed. Oh no, not much I can really say about this episode, cause I really was not expecting to have more of Vardros, but we'll see. See if it comes back in some way, shape, or form or capacity. It's really hard to tell how far out our heroes will actually be traveling to. Mm. But for the most part, I did enjoy Vex's little character arc. Because it did feel like there had to be some way of getting kind of Vex and Rapunzel in some kind of good standing or whatever. But this was not the direction I was expecting. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I've been News This Zen, and I hope to see you later. Till then, take care. Bye bye.